to 74, Obadiah 117. And somebody also get a revelation from there. Why deliverance is very important for you. Deliverance is an heritage. It's a promise of the Father. It's been given to us on Mount Zion. Amen. And when you go to Mount Zion, you must get delivered. So from Obadiah 117, let's read. Somebody there quickly, let's read. Let's go upon what? Zion shall be delivered. Shall be what? Shall be delivered. Where's de deliverance? Mount Zion. So when you get to Mount Zion, what do you get? Deliverance. And then what follows? And, and what follows? There shall be holiness. What follow deliverance? Holiness. And what follow holiness? Possession. How follow holiness? Possessions. You will possess your possession. That means you will enjoy your life. You will live a holy life. Deliverance is very important. Deliverance is a pathway to happiness, to a holy life and happiness. If you are going to enjoy holiness in life, you must be delivered. If you are going to enjoy and take your possession, you must be delivered. Because you do not want to live with the devil. You cannot enjoy life with the devil. It's never going to happen. Devil will mess up anything, home, relationship, anything. That is why this month, you must take this teaching serious. Because at the end of the month, three days, we're going to have a special deliverance service. Somebody say amen. amen. So holiness and possession follow what? Follows what? So deliverance is my heritage in Zion. I will never live with the devil. Say amen. Read Luke 1, verse 74 to 75. Luke chapter 1, from verse 71 to 75. Luke chapter 1, 71 to 75. 74, rather, right 74. This is the promise that God made to you and me that was fulfilled in Christ. So this is your heritage. This is your blessing for being a child of God, for being a Christian. If you are still having devil tormenting you, that devil is cheating you. It's not supposed to be there. You have to know your right and know that deliverance is yours. That's why Christ Jesus Christ came. So when you say you are born again, you are a child of God, you are saying no to Satan in your home. Not in your head, not in your body. It's called deliverance. It's important. It's a prerequisite. It's a foundation for holiness. Without deliverance, you can't live a holy life. With demon tormenting your mind, I mean, with all those things messing up with the emotion, you can't live right. If you want to live right, you have to check the devil out of your mind, your body, your system, so that you can live in peace. That thing called the devil is a troublemaker. You don't need him around you. Amen. And he will lie to you. He will pretend. He will come in corny ways. He will come in figures. And there are many things you're going to learn in this class. How they come. The stuff they use. The name they use. The open doors. The work of the devil. At the association of devils. So you have to renounce it. You have to reject it. You have to say no. You have to say no. You cannot put devil stuff in your house and expect him not to come to you. We're going to learn this in this class. So when we are doing deliverance, the devil is not telling me, I'm not getting out because I have my stuff in him. No. He has to leave. Amen? Amen. He has to leave you alone. Amen. As he has to leave you alone. Amen. So God will open your eyes to all those demonic stuff. If you are still going to Ouija board, you will see clearly that you are the one opening the door for Satan in your life. Because it's deceiving you. It's telling you, it's making you commit adultery. You cannot serve God and mama. You cannot serve God and devil. You can't do it. It's not possible. Because that devil will always come after you. They will never leave you alone. Even when David died, when Moses died, demons still went after his body. 
If they use your body, they will come after your body. If they use your tongue, they will come after your tongue. The devil will never, he will never let use you for free. He will never bless you for free. He's not generous. There's no love in him. If, there, if you have no love, just turn it other around. Hatred is devil. Evil is devil. Anything called hatred. Devil can never love you. He can never reconcile with you. No. So you just have to leave him alone. And say, get back. Get the end, Satan. And deliverance is easy when you prepare the ground. You have to say, I reject. I do not want the work of the devil. I do not want the stuff of the devil. In those days when our fathers in the law, when they give their life to Christ, they gather all the idols, they burn them with fire. They say, no. You can't mix the two. No, 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 no. Or else, you just be praying forever, forever, forever. Because it's called idolatry. Somebody say, I reject devil. I reject Satan. I reject all his stuff. I reject all his goodness. I reject all his works. I reject all the association and all its practices. You got to reject it. Amen. You got to say no to it. That way, your deliverance is easy, trust me. But if you're enjoying it, you are keeping. I went to ask some time ago. I mean, when I first came to Canada, we were doing deliverance all over the place in Brampton. I went to a house, and this woman went to Brazil and brought a, a black doll. The, the, she didn't know the doll was a, a, an idol, whatever it's meant for, I don't know. So I was there. She's, not been, she's been barren for 21 years. But she kept that doll in her house. And I just got in there to pray. And the Lord just said to me, what, that, what is that doll for? Then I was conscious, so conscious. So I told him, I told, her, I told them, what is that doll for? We're about to pray, and he said, I bought it in the social carnival, in whatever. I said, okay, the Lord is saying, take it out of your house, destroy it. And she did. And before I left Brampton to UK, in three months she got pregnant. I didn't even pray. I didn't even pray. Amen. I didn't pray. Amen. There well, are some things the devil will hold on to. Their names, their items, their materials. It will put it under your bed so that it can always visit you to locate you. If you travel with it, they will follow it. So anything that has to do with devil, I don't want it. Say, I don't want it. Any work, I don't want it. Any association. Pornography is an open door. If you see men who cannot give a, a lot of men in Africa, there's a, there's a lot of brothers, you know, oh, everybody say the woman is pregnant, uh, is barren. The woman is barren. No, no, it's not the woman. They will go to the hospital. They will not check it out. It was not the woman. The woman is as fertile as anything. But I will not check out. Most, out of everyone I have dealt with, the men who are heavily involved in pornography. And over that pornography is a woman called Jezebel, the woman of the water. They are a lot. That controls the market. Once you are, the most you are addicted to pornography, you are giving your seed away to her. You are giving your seed. So there is childlessness, there is barrenness. Barrenness is for women. Childlessness is a cost to men. It will take your seed. This part will be low count. Low count and low count and low count and low count. Figure it out. What are you doing? It's heavily involved in masturbation. Masturbation three times a day. God forbid in Jesus' name. So there are some work of the devil that once you get attached to them, you do it, you are inviting that demo, devils on your body, on your system. Like drug. Some drugs are demonic. They'll open your eyes. People say marijuana is good. It's not good at a certain extent because people hallucinate. You will see devils. You will see devils. You are sleeping. You drink a lot. Before you know it, your mind is open up to the realm you don't want to, you don't want to get into and demons start tormenting you. And that's why people don't enjoy their life. They can't live holy life because they are living with the devils. And that's why Christ came. Devil is supposed to be cast out. Out of where? Out of your life. Out of your body. So you cannot live with the devil. And so here in this church, if there's still a devil in our ministry, we cannot grow. 
If devil is walking in our sanctuary, we cannot grow. We can be here forever. Listen to me. It will mess things up. In your home, it will damage it. We got to all agree and say, no devil. That's why people, our fathers, will always take away anything that has to do with devils when they are on their journey. And I pray for somebody today, you will say no forever to anything that has to do with evil spirit. Can I hear louder? Amen. That's when you are actually ready for deliverance. Trust me. It's easy for them to leave you if they don't have your stuff. But if, if, if you have their stuff, they will say, no, I'm not going. I'm not going. The mother gave it to me. Father gave it to me. Look at that mark on him. That is my mark. Look at the name. I he sold my soul. He sold he sold he sold, he sold, he sold, he sold to me to get that money. I entered the covenant with him. And they will and those things they become your Lord and they can mess up your life. May God reject it in the name of the Lord for somebody this month in Jesus' name. You will enjoy your life. You will enjoy your possession. You will live an holy life. Devils no more in your life in Jesus' name. Say after me, devils must be cast out. I cannot hear you say that again. They must what? Say, I will cast them out. Say, I will cast them out. You can, I will, you will. Every one of us in this church will become demon chasers. We're going what? You can cast them out. Because that's why you are learning about the power in the name. The Lord gave the name in Zion for your deliverance. That name is declared, revealed, and proclaimed in Zion. So that you, when you get to Zion, take hold of that name. God declared the name separately and say, I give you my name. Go and cast out devil. Amen. And you will do it, and I can do it in Jesus' name. Look at Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Hurry up quickly. Revelation 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. He, ha he knows he has but a short time. So there is woe. Woe means trouble. Woe means causes, pain, struggle, affliction, torment. People just get married, in no time they are crying. Or they just got a job, they lost it. All of these things that men are going through, the Bible says because they are living with devils. And they tell you lies. It's not devil, it's your nature, it's your father. It's all the lies. Because the devil only walks in darkness. It's to keep you unaware. The second is exposed, you can cast him out. So you have to reject him. You have to say no. The work of the devil, the stuff of the devil, the association of the devils, no matter how attractive they are, don't join them. Don't join them. They will, enti they will entice you to go and be a witch. Do not join it. They will say, come and buy. I mean, you go to the mall, you see some of the, some of the stores open. You see some of the things they sell in some stores. Don't enter into the place. Second, you enter in, you have that uh, thing... The, the smell of their perfume, whatever they call it on you, you're already taking something with you. Don't put some things on your body. Don't do something because there are devils there. That's why the Bible says, woe to the inhabitants of the heart. He said, that devil has come to live with you. And it's not talk, and, and you better believe it, it is there on the street. This book is true. And we see it every day. The devil is there all over the place. And so the, 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 the deception is to tell you there is no devil. Whoever tells you there is no devil is either working for the devil or is an ignoramus. In the name of the law, you will be aware in Jesus' name. So you, it will not take advantage of you. The Bible says we are not, ad, we are, we are not ignorant of the device of what? We are not what? Ignorant of these devices, lest it takes an advantage of us. So that's why this class is very important that you know how to live with the devil. I mean, how to cast out devils. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. Now, Matthew chapter 10, verse 8. 
Matthew 10, verse 8. Quickly, all your place. Heal the sick. Cleanse the lepers. This is when the Sabbath was sent out. They were out on assignment to do what? Heal the sick. To do what? Heal the sick. To do what? Heal the sick. And then? Cleanse the lepers. And then do what? Raise the dead. And then do what? Cast out devil. Cast out devil. Look at your friends in the name of Jesus. I will cast out devils. Say, I will cast out devils. I will cast out devil. Look at him eyeball to eyeball. See if there's any devil tormenting you. I will cast it out. I will cast it out. I'm going to say it again. If there's any devil tormenting you, I will cast it out. I can't hear you. Say, I will cast it out. I will cast it out. Say, I will cast it out. Listen, don't be, don't, listen, you've got to understand that's a good thing. Amen. It's a very good thing. Amen. So lay hands on your friends. Somebody say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lay hands, lay hands. Somebody please. Lay hands on your friend. Say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any devil, Any devil. tormenting you <laughs> is my enemy. You devil, leave him alone. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Out! Say, out. <laughs> say, out! Amen. A time will come you will do that bodily and that devil will obey you and the people shall be free in Jesus' name. Amen. Devil must be cast out. Shout it, Satan must be cast out. Satan must be cast out. Devils must be cast out. Devils must be cast out. Mark chapter 16. Mark 16. Let's all read verse 17 together. Follow them that this shall shall do what? Follow them that believe. Put your name there. This shall shall follow me. This shine shall follow me. O Lou Devi. That believe. That believe. What is that sign? In my name shall, shall they cast what? out devils. The first thing you do. In my name, what? Cast out devils. Ah, amen. Amen. Listen, you will not be helpless in this life. Amen. You will not be a victim in this life. Amen. You will not watch your children being tormented by your enemy. Amen. You will cast out devil. Amen. May you cast out devil this morning. Amen. May you cast out devil this morning. Amen. And finally, you're going to learn what the devil does in this class. You've got to know it. Because this morning, the Lord has commanded deliverance in Zion. Amen. Number one, they possess people. Number two, they torment. Number three, they harass. They afflict, they tempt, they oppress, they obsess. You're going to see what they do. So when they come around you, you know this one is not natural. Whenever anything is consistent, somebody is saying he wants to die. I want to just die. I was talking to a little boy a few days ago last week, and he's talking about death as if he can actually die. That is Satan. That's the devil. And somebody is doing some things, they are oppressed, they are tempted, they are tormented. That is when you cast out what? Devil. devil. We're going to look at the works of the devil. But more importantly, listen, I'm going to teach you personally when I run up, because you've got to do it, how to really get deliverance. There has to be genuine repentance. You have to renounce. You have to keep yourself. Somebody say Repentance. Repentance. Read Second Corinthians chapter twelve for me. Second Corinthians twelve. Second Second Chronicles twelve, verse seven. Three things I will make us do this morning to make your deliverance easy is what repentance. It's called humility. You got to repent. You got to repent. You got to renounce the devil, take it out of your house, and you got to keep yourself. Say repent. Repent. Say repent. Repent. Let's all read together. Verse 7. Let's go. I cannot hear you, church. Let's go. So that they humbled themselves. When the Lord saw that they did what? They humbled themselves. They uh, when you say humble, it's repentance. When the Lord saw, they humbled themselves. The, what happened? The word of the Lord came to what? Shemaiah, saying, they have what? Humbled, humbled themselves. themselves. Therefore, I will not destroy them. 
But I will grant unto them what? Some deliverance. And my wrath shall not be poured out upon Jerusalem by the hand of the enemy. So whenever there is repentance, after deliverance is holiness Amen. and possession. Before deliverance is repentance and renunciation. Amen. You have to renounce. You have to repent. Say, I have to repent. I have to repent. You must repent. You must what? Repent. If you really want deliverance, you must repent. You must say no. You cannot bear the name of the Lord in, in shame. You cannot be in the church and be fornicating at will. You are opening the door for Satan. You got to repent. You got to repent. Repentance is all God is asking for. He's not asking to stop. The, you can't do it by yourself. You cannot stop doing those things by yourself. You have got no power to stop it. But once you repent from the heart, the anointing and the grace come. Because the power that makes you do it shall be broken by the power of his name in Jesus' name. Amen. But you got to repent. Say, I have to repent. I have to repent. Say, I have to repent. And I have to renounce. I have to renounce. I have to keep myself. Say it again. I have to repent. I will repent. I will humble myself. Under the mighty hand of the Almighty God. Stand to your feet. Say, I will I will repent. I will humble myself. I will repent. I will repent. I will humble myself. Under the mighty hand. Of the, of the Almighty God, and this month, this month the, name the name of the Lord will lift me out. The name of the Lord will make a way for me. The name of the Lord will settle me, will locate me. I will repent. I reject the devil. I reject the works of the devil. I reject every practice of the devil. I reject witchcraft I reject I reject every demonic association I reject the devil I say devil then yes I reject you in my home in my family in my mind in my body today today I will sing it again today. I will sing unto the Lord without the devil. I will sing unto the Lord a song of deliverance. I will rejoice in Zion. I will louder. Amen.